The Marvel Adventures video game is launching today, August 31st, 2020, on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. When you first get started, you're drawn into the single-player story set in my hometown of San Francisco. I've been playing the game since the beta test on both Xbox and PlayStation. There are only a few games I've purchased on both platforms, and this is one of them. Why? The game is a lot of fun, and I love co-op games. Each platform allows you to play with friends on the platform you have. After you complete the single-player campaign, you can go play co-op with not just your friends, like most games, but you can also matchmake with players all over the world that are at the same level as you, more or less. The scope of the game is massive. Marvel's franchise in this game will span years of gameplay. They will be releasing multiple post-launch updates and holiday upgrades. The game will support next-generation platforms, the PS5 and Xbox Series X, when they release later this year. For this reason, the game is a must-have for your future shopping list. If you're planning on pre-ordering the new consoles when they release, you'll want to buy this game now on the platform you're planning to upgrade to. There are a few huge differences between the Xbox and the PlayStation. This has to do with a future planned character, Spider-Man. Spider-Man is confirmed to only release on PlayStation, and for this reason it has caused a huge controversy in the industry. Xbox users are upset, and rightly so, but what they don't realize is the Marvel Spider-Man pictured here is an exclusive only on the PlayStation platform. Because of the unique relationship between the developers and Sony, it's only possible to release the Spider-Man character in the PlayStation version of the Marvel Avengers game. So rather than buying into the controversy, I pre-ordered both the PlayStation and the Xbox platforms so I can play now on my faster Xbox One X and build up my characters in both platforms. When the PlayStation 5 hits the pre-order channels in a few months, you'll be able to upgrade your gameplay into the PlayStation 5 and play the new Spider-Man character. In the meantime, I highly recommend you check out Marvel's Spider-Man on the PlayStation. I will be having more videos about the Spider-Man. It's a fantastic game. I never really finished it when it launched a few years ago, but I just completed the main story mission, and it's certainly something you want to go back to. As I said, because of the unique relationship with licensing on Spider-Man and Marvel with Sony, the unique character of Spider-Man will only be available on the PlayStation 4 and 5 versions of Marvel's Avengers. This is a highly controversial move, and fans all over the world are upset by this news. What started as a rumor is now confirmed. The Spider-Man character will be released as a free post-DLC playable character soon after launch. The new Spider-Man game is due to release this holiday season, as well as the fourth DLC in the current series. I have to say that going back to finishing up Spider-Man on PS4, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Because of the confirmed Spider-Man character and the free upgrade to the PS5 version of the game, many fans are pre-ordering the PlayStation version of Marvel's Avengers. Before you buy your copy of Marvel's Avengers, think about what next generation platform will you be supporting. And if you're like me and you want to support both platforms, you'll want to pick up a copy in each platform and build your characters and your friends find other players who are playing this extremely exciting game.
I would say that this is probably some of the most fun I've had online in the online gaming world since the early release of Destiny 2. And you may notice that de the game itself looks a lot like Destiny 2 and it is modeled a lot like Destiny 2 with its fire team gameplay. It's really fast. Matchmaking is extremely effective. Overall, give this game a two thumbs up review. I think it's a landmark achievement by Square Enix and I really salute them for making a highly fun and entertaining game that has so much depth and replayability because you can pick your favorite character and really go deep with it. On the PlayStation, I've been mostly focusing on playing Iron Man. Iron Man is definitely my favorite character to play. Although I also love playing Black Widow, I found that the Hulk gameplay was a lot of fun in the single player mode. However, to me, the ability to fly around as Iron Man is absolutely amazing. When the game releases later tonight, I believe you'll be able to play with additional characters that will be released and I will be shooting some more videos so please once again if you like any part of this video please subscribe and click the little bell I really really appreciate your support of the channel and I look forward to seeing you at one of our future live events marketing events where we can perhaps connect and talk story if you'd like to play the game with me, I've included both my gamer tags in the description below this. Love to connect with you inside the game. Have a great, great, great week, and I'll see you in the next video.